Hello and welcome to Only Connect. This is a quarter-final. I'm joined by two teams who have already won two games, but no prizes. Nobody wins prizes here. We operate like a primary school sports day, one in which nearly everyone is asthmatic. But who are the eggheads and who are the spoons? Let's find out. On my right, Henry Patinez, a research scientist who was born in Brazil and attended the same school as J.R.R. Tolkien. Nick Mills, a maths graduate and software tester who took part in an impromptu performance of the play Spock in Manacles at a Star Trek convention. And their captain, Stephen Pearson, a librarian and classicist whose childhood home was built on the site of a World War I prisoner of war camp. All committed players, they are the chessmen. So, Stephen, you lost your first seat to the linguists, then won against the wandering minstrels, then, yes, you had that nail-biting tiebreaker against the felinophiles. Which has been your least favourite game? Well, I think probably that last one, because I had to agonise over the tiebreaker, and particularly since when I gave the, the same question to my wife afterwards, she solved it in about a quarter of the time it had taken me. You are facing tonight, on my left, John Dorney, a writer and actor who is a direct descendant of an Australian convict. Stuart Wildig, an English graduate and IT professional who enjoys playing bridge and almost had his eye poked out by Jerome from Robson and Jerome. And their captain, Giles Sparrow, a science writer and editor with an interest in astronomy and local history who has fallen off both horse and bicycle. United by what, or more accurately who, they are the Gallifreyans. Giles, you beat the wandering minstrels and the linguists. Do you know which is your favourite round? Um, we quite like all of them, but I think our least favourite or our bugbear so far has been the connecting wall. Um, which we've failed to complete twice, so it will be quite nice to uh, break that pattern tonight. Well, good luck. We're going to play round one, as is only traditional. Chessmen, you won the toss, but you've decided to put the Gallifreyans in first. So, Giles, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. The music question immediately. You'll be hearing some clues. Something connects them, and I want to know what that is. Here's the first. All the children of the world looking up to me. It's not about the fame, the wealth, for the money. Chase your dreams and be the best you can. And never say, can you keep it? Yes, I can. You might become a doctor, a lawyer. And it looks like I'm falling all over the place. Next, please. Next please. It's a Gaza's version of what we have done. Is it all could be celeb celebrity singing songs? Three seconds. Is it celebrities singing songs? That's probably not going to be enough of a It's not connection. enough. I need to hear celebrity something specific. Cover Footballers. Footballers. Yeah. They are all sung by famous footballers. We heard Andy Cole's 1999 cover of the Gap Band's Outstanding. Second, the rather lovely Head Over Heels in Love by Kevin Keegan. The third one, <laughs> Hoddle and Waddle Diamond Lights. <laughs> From the sound of it, I need hardly tell you it was 1987. <laughs> and the last one, Gazza, of course, Paul Gascoigne, Fog on the Tyne. Apparently, when Glenn Hoddle was interviewed and asked uh, before he was applying for the England manager's job if there were any skeletons in the closet, he said, well, there's that record with Chris Waddle. <laughs> so one point for you, Gallifreyans. And chessmen, your turn to choose. Uh, horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What's the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Well, that would be USB, well, but it can't be USB. Uh, next, please. Again, that's not the Zumba or anything. Well, no. uh, next, please. Are these words for no. um, jacuzzi? Are they invent all invented oh, in a particular place? I wonder whether place? they're trademarks that can't... That are actually... Should we go to the next one, anyway? Yeah. Uh, next, please. Hoover or something. Yeah, are they yeah, all things... Yeah, it's a trademarks. <laughs> Genericised trademarks. That's pretty much it. They're proprietary names. They're used more generally in some cases, but they are names over which companies have legal rights. Yes, the memory stick, it's used commonly, but it belongs to Sony, and all the others belong to particular companies. I'm not even saying them out loud for fear of getting a lawyer's letter in a bill. Gallifreyans, your choice. Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. 
Clinton and Sydney. Yeah. Right. I don't think. No idea what happened. No. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, is it going to be Fitzmaurice? It's um, it's, 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 it's cinema directing. So is it cinema directing couples? Yeah, Akin so it might be. Any, any ideas? Um, no idea, but it might be worth a go for that. If it's it's the, f the first names of cinematic directors. I think directing duos. Go for it. Go for it. Are they cinematic directing duos? I like your gambling spirit, but I'm afraid that's not the answer. Oh. I'm going to show all the clues to the chessmen. You've got the chance of a bonus point. Ah, oh, it is the archers, yes. Mm. Uh, archers. That's right. Michael and Emmerich, Powell and Pressburger, they're yes. the film directors. Their company was known as the archers, and so were they. Ackland and Sydney, do you know what that is? Uh, I have no idea, and I, neither, do my, neither do my teammates. Uh, no, it's a Reynolds painting. It's a oh. 1769 painting by Joshua Reynolds, Colonel Ackland and Lord Sydney, the archers. Jack and Peggy from the radio show, and Geoffrey and Mary. That's Geoffrey Archer, the novelist, and his wife, Mary. So you get the bonus point, chessmen, and it's your choice. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Oh, Duke of Norfolk has his seat in West Sussex, does he? He does a tarangal, yes. Um, so do you think it's... Uh, should we go for it? I think it might... I can't think of anything else that links Norfolk and West Sussex. And I think five points will be useful, and they'll only get one if we get it wrong. <laughs> um, should we? Yeah, because there, there are enough others. There's, I think there are enough others because there's the Duke of Devonshire, isn't Derby. Yeah, we're really out of time. <laughs> it's dukedoms and where they actually have their seat. So the Duke of Norfolk, his seat is in West Sussex, and we're hoping that later on there may be... Well, we won't tell you what we're hoping there later on until you tell us whether we're right or not. <laughs> Throwing your usual caution to the wind... You get five points. That is the right answer. Duke of Devonshire, Derbyshire somewhere, yes. Devonshire and Derbyshire <laughs> was the last one, the giveaway clue. They are dukes and their homes. The Duke of Norfolk is based in West Sussex, Duke of Beaufort in Gloucestershire, Duke of Marlborough in Oxfordshire, and the Devonshire, Derbyshire one at the end there. Very well gambled. OK, Gallifreyans, you've gone slightly behind. I'm sure you can pull back ahead with this choice. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. These are going to be picture clues. What do you think connects them? Here's the first. Um, that's the appendix, isn't it? Um, yes. Do we think they're parts of a book, or should we go for another one? Oh, it's up to you, really. Do we want to go for another one? Do we want to take the risk? Do we want to take the gamble? I think we should take another one, to be honest. Okay, yeah, go for it. Next, please. This mine is fine. Fine. Parts of a book. You could have had five points as well. They are parts wow. of a book coming in after two clues. You get three points. The appendix, the spine, you need to see the index or index finger and a page at the end there, a page at a wedding. Well done. OK, chessmen, there's one question left. The twisted flax. How twisted is it? Only one way to find out. Here's your first clue. Next, please. Oh, is it long undefeated runs? Because Jahangir Khan played about 11 run years of squash. I think that's all from next, it's just three to yes, two. Uh, next, please. Oh, no, that... He didn't have a long undefeated run, I don't think, so... He won, won, yeah, yeah, just, uh, won the World Championship uh, twice. Uh, 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 next, please. Oh, is it oh Father Sons. Uh, is it no, Father they're not Fathers and Sons. Um, oh, no, uh, multiple, multiple with multiple, the same no, name. No, no. Uh, Unrelated to people. Three seconds. Unrelated to people with the same name. Uh, oh, no, no people uh, unrelated people. No, sorry, sorry, unrelated people to un people Graham Hill and Damon Hill. <laughs> oh, well, well, all right, that's name. enough of this coffee um, clinch. Uh, world, uh, uh, world, world champions who have the, the same, same surname. surname, and if you want more, we suspect that it's two world champions who have the same surname but aren't actually related. <laughs> well, no, not the hills. The hills. Uh, well, no, no, but there's another, there's another hill. Okay. I hate to interrupt you, you're having a lovely <laughs> chat. <laughs> They are all sports in which there have been world champions with the same name. In the case of Formula One and Hill, they are father and son, Damon and Graham Hill. The others are unrelated. It was Jan and Nicky Pedersen in Speedway, Yahingir and Yansha Khan in Squash, Alex and John Higgins in Snooker, but they are all sports in which there's been more than one world champion with the same name. Well done. At the end of round one, the Gallifreyans have four points, the chessmen have eight. Round two is a sequences round. There are still four connected clues, but the teams may see a maximum of three of them because I want to know what the fourth one is. Gallifreyans, you'll be going first again, so please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion, please. OK, you're about to see the first of a sequence. They're going to be in picture form. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Oh, that's a 
Amy Adams. Is it AA? Is it going to be so David Dimbleby, perhaps? Should we gamble? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, David for Dimbleby. example, David Dimbleby. It's a nice idea for a question, but I'm afraid it's not this question. So I'm going to show three clues to the chess men, and if you can tell me what would come forth, you'll get a bonus point. Beth Ditto, Joe Brand, Adams Brand Ditto, Amy... Oh, Beth, it's a Little Women, so what's the other one? Joe, Meg. Emmy... I need an answer. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Meg Ryan, for example. We have put up a picture of Meg Ryan in fourth place. Well done for a bonus point. And why is that? Because it's the four names of the four March sisters in Little Women. That's absolutely right. You're looking at Amy Adams, Beth Ditto, Joe Brand and Meg Ryan. It is the sisters in Little Women getting older and the oldest would be Meg. Well done. And it's your turn to choose a question. Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Anybody know what that is at all? Nothing. No. no. Next, please. Does anybody know what that is? No. <laughs> no. Uh, next, please. Uh, well, that's a place in, that's, that's a place in Pakistan. Is it? Is it how Pakistan got its name or something? Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, Can, Kandahar's in Afghanistan. Well, I was thinking uh, that, yes. Yeah. And well, is it, could it be a single it's place? Is it, is it the ascending? Mountains, is, Kandahar, is, it the is Kandahar the second highest, biggest place in Kandahar? Three seconds. Well, we'd better go for Kabul then, I suppose. Kabul? Not the answer, I'm afraid. There's a bonus chance for the Gallifreyans. Is it Helmand? The answer is Helmand. And why do you think that is? Possibly British deployments in Afghanistan, but that's a... They're actually not. No, it is just the Afghanistan provinces and we're going along the border with Pakistan, so simply next along would be Helmand. Zabal, the second one, you can also spell it with an O where the U is. Why have we not done that in this case? Ooh, so as not to confuse it with Zabal in Iran. Ah. That's why. I'm sure you knew that, really. Well done, Gallifreyans. You get a bonus point. And what would you like next? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Nobody. Dario. Dario. Yeah, Nemo. 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 I think Nemo's not going to... Yeah, sure. Yeah, next, please. Guilford Dudley. Dudley. Um, isn't that some plotter? Yeah, it might be. Um, yeah, I can do another one. Next, please. <laughs> oh, um... Is it the Eye of Essex? Uh, the pe people Elizabeth was promised yes, to? Yes, yeah. Oh, OK, yeah, then so it could be that. Who was the first... Um, she should to marry. So oh, that was oh, a oh, Earl of them. What's his name, isn't it? Uh, Three oh, seconds. Oh, is it people they were right to hit it? Is John? it? Uh, it going backwards. Um, nobody again. The answer is nobody. Very well spotted right at the end there. And why? I'm, I'm not entirely actually sure. It's, I, it's one of the kings. Is it Edward the. Um, Edward the Sixth? Yeah, that's what I was vaguely thinking. Yes, we're going forwards rather than backwards. They are the spouses of English monarchs. We're starting with Edward VI, who didn't marry. Yeah. Next, Guilford Dudley was the husband of... Me uh, oh, Lady Jane Grey, Lady course. Jane Grey. Philip II of Spain, the husband yeah. of Mary, Mary Tudor. Mary Tudor. Mary Tudor and the yes. next monarch, Elizabeth Gloriana, did not yeah. have a husband, so the spouse would be nobody. Mm -hmm. Well done. Chessmen, your turn. Uh, water, please. Water. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. It's five foot to eyes of blue. Next. I don't know what those five feet can do. Uh, uh, next, please. Uh, well, that's a film with James Dean, um, but it's a Steinbeck novel. I don't know. Should we go next? Uh, next, please. OK, so is it Giant? Giant then? is the other James Dean film, yes. Yeah. So, and presumably it can only... We haven't got... We aren't going to think of anything. I thought only we? three anyway. <laughs> that's right. I wonder whether he was filming that and he... But no, that can't... Well, it must be Giant. Yeah. Kind of the only thing that, Oh, that's the only thing we can guess. Giant? The answer is Giant. <laughs> now, these are James Dean films. You're thinking he only made three films. Well, we're thinking perhaps that has anybody seen My Girl is what he was making when he had a sad and premature demise. Yeah, well, no, because we're going forwards. Oh, Giant right. was the last one. Ah. These are the last four films in which James Dean had a credited role. And in Has Anybody Seen My Gal, he played a youth at a soda fountain. <laughs> that must have been a stretch. Uh, he then made East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, Giant would be the fourth in the sequence. Gallifreyans, your turn to choose. Two reads, please. Two reads. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. 
Lyrics from a song? No. I don't know what the fake is, right? No. Uh, next, please. Oh, Grammy the Crucifix. Oh, um... It, it's probably something that possibly like the Monster Mash or something like that. It's next, we go next. Is it the next? Yeah, oh... Yeah, yeah, next, please. Better lock your door. Snowblade, grab your crucifix, better lock, lock your, your door. door. Oh, no, 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 it's 91 Elm Street. Uh, well, uh, 7, 8, and 7, 8, 5, 6, 3, 6, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 5, Stuart. Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> it's the right answer. <laughs> You took a while. It's quite clear none of you has ever been a teenage girl. <laughs> this is the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street. And what's the sequence doing? It's going backwards. That's uh, seven, eight, going to stay up late. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Three, four, better lock your door. And the horrible nursery rhyme begins. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Well done, you get the points, but I won't sleep tonight. <laughs> Chessmen, one question remains. It's the twisted facts again, left till last. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Oh, well, that's, well, I mean, that's to do with Pope. Well, it could be Pope, but he hates the right year. He's been going backwards, but we'll, yeah, we'll go next. Uh, I think we better go next, just on the safe side, because okay. I can't see the sequence. Uh, next, please. Uh, right, well, that's not it then, is it? The Czechoslovakia in 1978. Get the next one. Uh, next, please. Uh, is it going to be American people in space? No, none of them are in space, is it? They could be, yes, it okay. could be first so, Russian, what year? 1961. Also, yeah. next first one. Or Soviet, presumably. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, first Soviet, 1961. First Soviet, 1961 is the right answer. And why is that? Something to do with space and men going up into space, but we weren't aware there were the first Czechos four Lackian nationalities oh, to go into space. I suppose. Well, that's it. It's the yes. nationalities. Yes, yes, the Polish chap who went to space in 1978 was on a Soviet mission. Oh, I see. Yes. But it's the nationalities of the first four astronauts to go into space and first Soviet 1961. Who was that? Yuri Gagarin. It was Yuri Gagarin. Well done. So at the end of round two, the Gallifreyans have nine points. The chessmen have. 13. Time for the fiendish 16 clue connecting wall. Chessmen, you'll be going first this time. You have a choice. Lion or water? Water, please. OK. You have two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. Let's see, Harris, Lewis, Barra, Rom, Muck. Um... I, I think there's Harris, Barra, Lewis, Rom, Muck. I think those are the only ones, so we want to miss out the last one. Uh, miss I don't out. spell Rom what? like that anyway. Uh, ah. But oh, is it? Well, in that case, we've not, it's not worth going for it. Well, oh, OK. Um, carry on. So we've missed out. We're working backwards. Um, and. Cent, 50 cent. Oh, it is. OK. Yes. OK. Fine. Uh, Peas, is peas pudding? Uh, uh, any kind of pudding? No. Harris tweed? Um, appies? Um, uh, uh, yes, no. good Otto... Percent, is there an engine? Oh, early Otto mo Bentley... Oh, yes, uh, no, Otto cycle. Uh, Otto yeah, he was an early motor uh, Are there any other cycles? Um, uh, tweed... I think there must be a... Can you add Ds? Get add D, well, seized, uh, used... Otto... No. Um, Otto... Peas... You'd have thought it could only be peas pudding. Is there a Harris pudding? Elf, wise, oh, Samwise. You, oh, use plural. Use wise peas. Oh, and God, yes, yes. Seas, seas. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, 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 right, <laughs> let's take that one Three off. strikes and you're out. Right, so. Um, so that's a word one, so they probably so aren't. People, so people's names. Uh, so, so, I mean, so, yeah, there'd be Harris, Harris Bentley, Terry, Otto would be. Cloth? Harris, uh, Terry Cloth? Um, I mean, no, it's worth uh, going for the names at some point quite soon, I think, would you say? Yeah. In the yeah, hope of yeah. So we go Harris, Otto, Bentley, Terry as being surnames. Yeah, okay. of, of what? Well, I... OK, OK, yeah, yeah. Well, I just see if we can get... Shit, well... Yeah, yeah, can go Elf right. tweet... Uh, person. Elf and Scent could be Homin... 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 Uh, so, no, let's go for that, yeah. No. Um, Harrow is part of a... You've got 30 Otto. seconds Harrow and two goes. Agricultural, um... Go for Carmen. Oh, Tim, Car uh, Terry, that's a, that's a tool of some kind. That's a tool of some kind. Yeah. Um, Harris might be, I don't know. Yeah. 
and uh, scent. Okay. scent. Okay. Otto, Otto Wentley. Um, oh, oh, which one? And we've already done oh, those four. And Harrow. Yeah, why not? That's no. it. You've used your three strikes, and the wall's frozen. But two points for the groups you found, and I'll give you more points for the connections. What about the first group, Barra, Lewis, Rum, Muck? Well, they're Scottish, Scottish Islands. Yeah, Scottish Islands. Are they well, in a particular group? Um, I'd like you to be more specific. Are Hebrides. They, Hebrides. they are Hebridean Islands. Islands, quite right. And the green group, starting with P's? It's the plurals of letters of the alphabet. So, it's, yeah, they're, they sound the same as the plurals of letters of the alphabet. P's, they are y's, homophones for plural letters, P's, Y's, U's and C's. You can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. What about this one, the purple group starting Harris? Uh, it could be people, famous people called, no, don't know. Um, John? Uh, John? Well, no, 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 no. Uh, are they some kind of... If you tools? knew it, you'd know. No. no. These are all captains of Chelsea football team. John oh, Terry. I, it is. No, oh, I, was, I was thinking John Terry and I didn't say it. Yes, John I, Terry, I, the I most recent, and there's yeah. also Roy I, Bentley, Ron Chopper Harris, and Jack Harrow was the captain of Chelsea in their first FA Cup final. Do you know which year? 1970. 1915. Oh, right. And what about the last turquoise group starting Twee? Well, could it be to do with um, fuel manufacturers, elf, or engine manufacturers? Uh, engine manufacturers or fuel manufacturers? They are not, and you may kick yourselves. They are all numbers in foreign languages. Uh... Twee, you might not know, that's number two in Dutch, but Otto is eight in Italian, elf, German for 11, and it's not sent, it's song oh. for 100 mm. in French. But you get two points for the groups that you found and two points for the connections. That is a total of four. Time to bring back the Gallifreyans, give them a new equally fiendish connecting wall and see if they can solve it in the same old fashion. Gallifreyans, you're going to be getting the lion wall because water's been taken. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Oh, oh, Scandalous figure. Um, oh, okay. okay. There's some um, films by Tim Burton. Uh, hang on, should we keep that for a bit? Um, yeah, yeah, um, I'm I'm set that I'll hold it up into it. Okay. Uh, well, we've got Galileo, Scandalous, Figaro, and. Fandango. Fandango. And, and, also, oh, and also Beelzebub. Beelzebub, ah. things from. Cannibals, uh, Sweeney Todd, Aldi um, Roberts, Beelzebub, they all eat human flesh, don't they? So maybe skip Beelzebub and try it. Let's skip Beelzebub. Well, there's, there's the Pantalone, Skip Harlequin, Galileo, Pyro, Pyro, they're all the yes. clowns. Yes. Uh, Skip Figaro. Uh, oh, hold on, Columbine. Pantalone, Figaro, Pyro. They're, uh, they're all Harlequin, Harlequin, Harlequin as well. Pyro, Pyro, that fine. Scaramouche is one as well, I think. Yeah. What's, what's what sort of Roberts doing down there? Uh, chief cannibals, people that eat human flesh. Sweeney Todd, Roberts? Audrey Roberts, the um, uh, yep. one from Little Shop of Horrors. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Is, OK. Yes. Right, okay. Right, we've got the first one. Sweeney so Todd. Flemish Giant, perhaps. Edward Cizans. Flemish Giant. Edward Cizans was. Flemish Giant English Lop Rabbits. Okay. Um, Dutch is a rabbit. Dutch probably, and. Okay, this is a good one to tear. If uh, we just run through them, run through them. Well, it's not going to be. It could be a Harlequin. Okay. Just, just run. Try some. Could be a Zohan. Oh, hold on. Zohan and Edward Cizans are both hairdressers in films as well. Ah, okay. okay. Just don't mess with the Zohan, Edward Cizans. Yeah, Sweeney Todd is also. Yeah, yeah okay. Do, do the rabbits. Should we, we try don't know which one. Okay, we've got it. Okay. Three so, strikes now. Okay, so, so it's Edward's, um, Audrey Roberts, Beelzebub. Is, did Audrey Roberts work as a hairdresser in, in, yes. in, in, in Coronation she Street? She did, yeah. Okay. So should we try that? Because that... Hairdresser, hairdresser. Well, and Figaro, hairdresser. They're, they're all from Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. yes. So that is, um, what is that called? That's, um... The, 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 the um, uh, pantomime clowns, aren't yes. they? Not, yeah, pantomime clowns, but it's from uh, the specific thing anyway. Uh, Comedia de la Yes. OK. That's it. You've solved them all. <sighs> so that is four points immediately for the groups. What about the connections? First group, Piero, Scaramouche or Scaramouche, Pantalone or Pantalone, Columbine or Columbine. What are they? Um, John. Commedia dell'arte characters. They are characters from the Commedia dell'arte. And the second green group starting English lop. What's that? They are rabbits. They're breeds of rabbit. The pink group, Sweeney Todd, Edward Scissorhands, Zohan, Audrey Roberts. Fictional hairdressers. They're all fictional hairdressers. Yes, Audrey Roberts in Coronation Street, not, to my knowledge, a regular devourer of human <laughs> flesh. And the last blue group starting Galileo. What's that? Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. They're all mentioned in the lyrics of the Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody. So that is four points for finding the groups, four points for the connections. I will give you a bonus of two points for getting it all right. That's the maximum of ten. Very well done. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. 
The Gallifreyans have 19 points, the Jessmen have 17. So the lead has changed and we'll be deciding the outcome by missing vowel. We've taken well-known names, phrases and sayings, we've removed the vowels and we've re-spaced the consonants and the teams have to tell me what those disguised clues are. Remember, if you get anything wrong by so much as a single letter, I'll take a point away, so be careful. Fingers on buzzers. The first group are all people who appeared in the 2014 Oscars selfie. Gallifreyans. Bradley Cooper. Correct. Chessmen. Angelina Jolie. Correct. Gallifreyans. Lupita Nyonga. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Chessmen, do you know? Uh, Lupita Nyonga. Both wrong. The actress's name is Lupita Nyongo. Next clue. Chessmen? Jared Leto. Correct. Next category. Words that are pronounced differently in British and American accents. I'd love to hear the accents. Gallifreyans. Tomato and tomato. Correct. Friends. Lieutenants and lieutenants. Correct. You don't know this one. It's niche and niche. <laughs> Next clue. Jasmine. Derby and Derby. Correct. Derby. Next category: numbers with their equivalent Roman numerals. Chessmen. Eight equals V I I I. Correct. Chessmen. Nine equals I X. Correct. Gallifreyans. One equals B I. Correct. Chessmen. Nineteen equals X I X. Correct. Next category: battles from the Napoleonic Wars. Chessmen. Borodino. Correct. Chessmen. The Nile. Correct. <laughs> that last clue was Ulm, but the bell has sounded for the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that the winners Going through to the semi-final with 25 points, it's the Chessmen. <sighs> but after a fantastic recovery, finishing with a very impressive 22 points, it's the Gallifreyans. Sorry, guys, that was a very adrenalised game. You were behind, in front, behind. I'm afraid we have to say goodbye. Many congratulations to you, though, Chessmen. Excellent stuff. We'll be seeing you in the semi-final. So the competition hots up and the final stages loom. Be sure to get out your smartest clothes for next week. Always nice to do a bit of ironing when you're watching TV. Goodbye. <laughs>